Hey everyone, Super Mario Studios out here. So um, recently I just got something in the mail. So um, the one thing I got in the mail is this. Yeah, it's a Brew Stew face mask. Uh, I got this from Teespring.com for Brew Stew. Uh, I'm gonna be well. I also ordered a hoodie from Teespring.com, but it's gonna be coming out in a few days or something like that. Yep. So we're gonna be unboxing this and see how it looks good on me. All right. So let's see here how it's up. Open like you know we have to open it like this, yeah like that, like that. Yeah, so this is what I have for Burger Stew merch. Yeah, and oh my gosh, guys, look, this is how the face mask looks. Now you want to see how I put it on my face? Let's see. Okay, so, so you see guys, this is what I look like in the Brew Stew face mask. And also, if you don't know what Brew Stew is, I'll tell you what Brew Stew is. <clears throat> okay, so Brew Stew is this YouTube channel with this guy named Tyler where he makes videos about his life, you know, through animation. And I'm um, sorry about the face, let me tell you what it'll look like that. Okay, so... Bruce Stu is this YouTube channel that involves about a guy named Tyler, which he has adventures with his friends, um, David, Michael, and Stephen, where um, they usually do on his childhood, but there's also some where they do on his adult life. And there's also many, and he's at 1.65 million subs, so go subscribe to him if you have the time yet. So, um, and I'll tell you how the Q&A for the 1 million subscriber special on Okay, so the Q&A started from, the first one was, why is the channel called Bruce Stew Films? Well, the reason why the channel is called Bruce Stew F well, it's cause, you see, the channel was originally gonna be called The Brew Crew, which is named after Brewer, the patriarch of the group. But the domain name BrewCrew.com was already taken, so he changed it to Bruce Stew instead. And the second question was, if the channel is called Bruce Stew Films, is the main guy's name Stu or Stuart? It turns out, no. The main guy's name is Tyler. What kind of a name is that? And he probably doing something like that. If his name was Stuart. It's Bruce Stu because Bruce Stu rhymed and the name BruceStu.com was like 12 bucks. And the third question was, is, is the stories that you tell are real? It turns out, yes, they are real. They're real people and something like that, but he would sometimes change the names for the people that he knew back then when he was a kid. Yeah. And the fourth question was about like, you know, why does he say, why does he start every story with all right? Or something like that. Yeah. Well, the reason why he starts every video with all right is because, well, it's, you know, it's to get to the story. There's also another story about like, you know, uh, like, why does his voice sound so different in the videos? Well, he was very nervous when he was talking into the stories, you know, like that. But, so he originally had Brewer to tell the stories and Tyler would just animate them. That's what they did with the first video, Walk for Texas Ranger. But eventually, Tyler was ready to be talking to the public and ready to do the story. And the another question is, how long will Tyler do Bruce do films for? Well, it's probably because YouTube decides to demonetize his whole channel. The reason why it's because his videos contain cussing and sexual jokes, etc. Another question is, what does he use to animate? The things he used to animate are Adobe Flash, which is now called Adobe Animate, which is now dead, and Adobe Premiere, which he uses in the anime, and you'll need to take a college if you want to take that, but right now you're not able to. You'll no longer be able to because Adobe Flash is dead. And now came to the most popular question of all, which is, what happened to Michael, and do you still talk to him? Well, it turns out, Tyler does not talk to Michael anymore. We don't know what happened to him. But he has, he do, he might know what a Bruce Stu is, and he might get a random phone call from Michael. That's like, dude, what happened? Why'd you look like such an idiot as a kid? Like, well, Michael, because you were an idiot as a kid. Say hi to your stepdad for me. Yep, so, um... Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, I'll be also adding a bonus clip, which is my reaction video to Crash Bandicoot 4 at time, the PS5 features, which no one commented on it. And you need to comment on it or else I'm going to be quitting. But I'll be adding in the bonus feature since you guys didn't comment on it. Also, I'll send a link in the description below, you know, 
what do you, is Bruce do? And I'll be sending him. And also, I'm really glad for the face mask that he has. Yep. And I like the face mask that I got. Yep, so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. P.S. This is also going to be out for when I'm wearing it in public. Hey everyone, Samar Series 99 here, and today we're going to be reacting to the PS5 features for Crash Bandicoot 4 to that time, so let's get started. Can I get time sharing skins first on PlayStation? Oh, it's coming to PS5! I knew it! Whoa, it looks great on PS5. Now we need to play in 4K. 60 FPS. That last part might have been a hair dramatic, but there's lots of awesome updates and additions Whoa. coming to the Crash Bandicoot These 4 graphics it's look about sick. time experience on PlayStation, coming to PlayStation 5. 5. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter. And again, we're, we're back here with Lou Stutter. I'm here to give you the feature rundown on Crash Bandicoot 4. We're adding some on more PS5. features here. That includes 4K at 60 frames. Not playing 4K at 60 FPS. 3D audio and more. Yeah, I, I can't wait to pick this spot. game up. On PS5. Well, I do have the game already, but since I have the game on PS4 and they did mention that I could get an upgrade. Just like if you remember from the State of Play trailer, I have a reaction video to. Um, I'm going to be putting down a link in the description below for the State of Play trailer. Uh, I have the Now it's playing 4K at 60 FPS. Yeah, wow. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K. Native 4K 60 FPS. With the weight of the universe on your shoulders, probably cool. some errands to run. There's little time to wait on loading screens. Oh, faster loading time! Since wireless controllers bring adaptive triggers and to your fingertips. <gasps> adaptive triggers? Feel the blast. Oh, so that's so cool. Now I can feel the blaster of Neocortex and Thomas Grapple Gun. Shot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of Crash's jet board. Oh, and the boost and really and the feel the suck when you vacuum his dingo dial. Not to mention here. Looking to get fully immersed Sorry, in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Crank it up to 11. Oh, and also can audio into flip a new dimension with enhanced, enhanced 3D audio. Requires a compatible headset, but... What even is the... Whoa, that audio sounds good. ...and completion is the sign of a true 3D master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way... Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, activity cards! Track your progress. Oh, and time and trials! For things like time trials, flashback levels, and bosses. Oh my gosh, I already remember these. And bosses! And entropy wishes he had that. Even bring your incomplete save over. <gasps> oh yeah, that's what I mentioned. PS4 to PS5 save transfer. To get but I do need to be connected to the internet. And I'm already connected to the internet. If you own the PS4 oh, and plus, of the game, an it's still multiplayer. And oh my god, Check upgrade to the PS4! Whether it's your first playthrough or your hundredth, there's no better time oh to experience gosh. Crash Bandicoot 4. This is my hundredth playthrough. I'm on PlayStation 5. Wanting to get to 106%. Available now for PS4. March 12, 2021 for the PS5. Play has no limits. Yep, so, uh, yep, that's it, guys, for the reaction for the PlayStation 5 features of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Yep, so, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, I did mention I'll be doing a. Uh, I'll send you guys a link of my PlayStation uh, State of Play reaction trailer for Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time for PlayStation 4. Yeah, so I'm going to be sending out a link in the description below. Yep, so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.